Okay, so I decided to come back, and um, this is not a real character. I made this up because I got inspired by some vintage books I read. And basically, um, yeah. And these videos are going to get really short, like one minute long videos. So I guess it's just one minute of me doing stuff. So yeah. Okay, so now that this one, we're making the hat. So basically, first start off with a long strip, like this one, of the color of your choice. Okay, and then connect it like this so that you get a nice tube shape. Okay, so as y'all can see, um, I tried or attempted to um, make the roof of the hat. Um, don't do what I did. This looks horrible, but that's okay because I'm going to add a bunch of stuff and make this thing look better. Okay, so as you can see, I sort of added this brim, this brim thing. So this is sort of like a sun hat now, I guess. Um, okay, so sorry if you hear background noise, but as you can see, I skipped a couple of steps. Um, yeah, just a couple. So I added some feathers, I added some flowers that don't even look like flowers, and I added this thing. It can either be a ribbon or a veil. I can't really tell, but tell, but yeah. So that's basically the hat. So let's move on to the actual dress now. Okay, so this is the skirt. So I'm actually repurposing one. It's the green hoop skirt. So basically, I gathered it in the back so that it could become a mermaid skirt. And then I just added a purple bow. So yeah, sorry if this thing's really shaky. I don't know why, but my arms are feeling tired. Okay, so I added this thing to the bottom of the skirt. I also did it on the back of the skirt. Oh my goodness, this camera is so broken. So yeah, I also added it onto the back of the skirt. So yeah, so basically the skirt is almost done. Um, okay, so I added this to the skirt for a just plan out decoration. So we're moving on to the bodice now. So then that's the pattern for the bodice. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll see how it adds up in there. 